In this video, we are going to solve UKMT Senior Mathematical Challenge 2021 UKMT United Kingdom Mathematics Trust. Problem number one, two, five. I will release other solutions in my next videos. Okay, so let's start problem number one. Okay, problem number one, Sicily had her 21st birthday in 1939. When did she have her 100th birthday? And the choices are this. So let's solve this problem. Okay, so 21st birthday is in what year you write 1000 or 1939. 22nd birthday or 22 is in the next year 1940 23 is in next year 1941 and we want 100th birthday and in what year we want to find why so if you consider here the in first row numbers are increased by one plus one plus one and also here plus one plus one because both of them are increased by plus one we conclude that their difference is constant means what here 119.39 minus 21 equal to 8 1 19, 18. again here 1940 minus 22 equal to eight one nine eight so we will see this minus the second one in each column minus first one is 1918 so we conclude y minus 100 equal to 1918 so if we take one negative 100 to right hand side it will be 1918 plus 100 which equal to eight one nine plus one 10 we have 1 20 18 so the choice the right choice is c okay problem number two of 2021 ukmt senior mathematical challenge the sequence formed from the sequence of primes by rounding each to the nearest 10 begins 0 0 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 30, and so on. When continued, how many terms in this sequence are equal to 40? Okay, so because we want to see which numbers, if we round, go to 40, we know from 35, 36, 37, all these numbers to 44, 38, 39, 40, 41, all these numbers will go to 40, 42, 43, and 44, 45 will go to 50. It says only primes. So which of them are prime 35? No, no. 37 is prime, 41 is prime, and 43 is prime. So the answer is C. Problem number three of 2021 UKMT Senior Mathematical Challenge. The diagram shows two congruent regular pentagons, this one and this one, and a triangle, this one. The angles marked x degree, this and this, are equal. What is the value of x? Okay, so it says two congruent pentagons. Because they are congruent, so it is equal to this, equal to this, equal to this, equal to this. And because they are congruent, all these sides are equal. So we conclude when it is x degree, it is also x because it is an isosceles triangle. So if you want to find this angle, this angle will be because the triangle is 180, it will be 180 minus x minus x, which will be minus 2x. Now I want to find this degree, this one. I call this y. I know because both of them are regular polygon, it is y. And why is what? We have an important formula that for a regular polygon with n sides. Regular 
polygon with n sides. Sum of the degree is 180 times n minus 2. So memorize this. It's so much useful. There are, it is so much basic, but there are some important formulas in geometry. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description comment. So n equal to 5 in this because it is pentagon. So the sum of the degrees is 180 times 5 minus 2, which is 3. It is sum of the degrees. Okay, so if you want to find each angle, you should divide it by 5. 180 times 3 over 5. You divide by 5, it will be 36. 3 times 36 will be 108 degree. Now, we want to find x. If we add up the angles here, y, x, y, and this angle, which is 180 minus 2x, their sum will be 360 because it is all angles around these points. So y plus x plus y plus 180 minus 2x equal to 360 degree. Now degrees, degrees, degree, degree. Okay, y is 108 degree. So if I replace, it will be 108 degree plus x plus 108 degree plus 180 degree minus 2x degree equal to 360 degrees. And now, if we want to simplify, 180, if we subtract by 180, it will be 180 degrees. 108 plus 108 is 216 degrees. Plus x here, minus 2x is minus x degrees equal to 180 degrees. If you take it to left hand side and x to right hand side, we can conclude 216 degrees minus 180 degrees equal to x degrees. And this minus this equal to 36 degrees, which is this. So x equal to 36 and the answer is C. Problem number four of 2021 UKMT Senior Mathematical Challenge. The positive integer k is the solution of the equation k over 12 all over 15 over k equal to 20. What's the sum of the digits of k? Okay, it's k over 12. I write k over 12 over 15 over k. I can write it like this, equal to 20. So if I want to change division to product, it will be k over 12 times reciprocal of the second term. It is a rule, you should memorize 20. Now we conclude, we multiply the numerators, k squared, the denominator is 12 times 15 equal to 20. If we cross multiply, k squared is 20 times 12 times 15. One way is to multiply all of them. Or one way you can say, okay, so let's multiply all of them first. 20 times 15 is 300 times 12. And then it will be 336, 0, 0. Okay, this way is okay. Or you can say, okay, for example, 20 is 4 times 5, 4, root of that is 2. Prime factorize that, one way is that, but it is also okay. So if we take square root from both sides, k will be 60, because k is positive. It's plus minus 60, but because k is positive, you only consider 60. The problem says, Pay attention. Sometimes if we have choice 60, you select 60 quickly. But pay attention. Exactly the problem wants what? It says what's the sum of the digits. So the answer is sum of the digits of k, which is 6 plus 0 equal to 6. So the right choice is D. Problem number 5 of 2021 UKMT Mathematical Challenge senior part. The sum of four consecutive primes is itself prime. 
what's the largest of the four primes? Okay, so we have four primes. It says consecutives. So, for example, we saw lots of genetic constants. The first one is P1, second one P2, third one. It's not necessarily first prime. P1, any prime, but there are consecutives. So, some of them, it, it itself is prime, so it is also prime. We know P is greater than 2 because some of the primes, it cannot be 2. Some of four primes. So, it is odd because the only prime that is the even is 2. So the primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. So, now, if we don't have 2 between P1 to P4, if all of them be odd, 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 then their sum will be what? If you add up four odds, it will be even, but right hand side is odd contradiction. So at least one of them is even. Means what? Even means one of them should be two. Because the only prime that is two, that is even, is two. So we conclude that we have two, we need even. So the only possible way, the first one is two. So there are consecutive numbers, the next one three, the next one five. The next one, 7. It says what's the largest of the four primes means P4 is 7. So the answer is E. Look, the number is even or odd. We call it parity. And it can solve also harder problems. We can solve also problems related to BMO round 2 and also round 1. That you need to pay attention to parity. And we can work on that parity and other ideas that are useful for you in all exams, in different steps. And also AMC for America. If you want to learn these ideas, don't forget to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. If you had other solutions, you can comment below this video or had any question, you can send, feel free, send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. You can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving, BMO playlist, AMC playlist. Have a great day. Bye.